All right, what's going on, guys? Nizu here. I've got a uh, um, basically an unboxing and review of the brand new Tomb Raider limited edition game guide. I got this in the mail today, three days early, three days prior to the game's release. This has never ever happened to me, and uh, I've been using Amazon for years. I have heard of people getting games early. I've heard of people getting things early prior to release but it has never happened to me until now but um it's pretty cool i can get uh, basically a first look at the game and you know just bring myself up to speed and i'll be ready for the game when it releases on tuesday but uh here's just uh, a look at the front and the back of the book and i will get more in depth with all of the features of this guide it comes with some exclusive DLC that you can only get with this game guide, which I'll show you in a minute. And the other awesome thing is that it comes with a amulet, Lara's amulet. It's a painted metal replica. So what you have here in the package is the book itself, and then you have, um, it's kind of like a cardboard a little cardboard box with some styrofoam between it that holds the amulet and uh, just explains all of the features on the back side This is a, this is a super glossy guide. This is the the glossiest guide that I have in my collection. I can it's basically a mirror. I can uh, I can look at it. I can fix my hair. I can trim my nose hair. It's super glossy if you can't tell. But anyways, <laughs> here are all the features of the guide. Uh, only in the limited edition do you get this custom design amulet. This is a painted metal replica of Lara's amulet, can be worn on any of your own adventures, and is the perfect collectible for any Tomb Raider fan. The other exclusive is that it comes with two DLC codes for multiplayer characters. You've got the Scavenger Scout and the Scavenger Executioner, which is uh, looks like an exclusive only for that you can get only with this game guide. The strategy guide features, you've got a complete walkthrough, step by step from start to finish, complete every challenge, highly detailed single player and multiplayer maps, our maps pinpoint critical locations in every area, find each and every collectible, ammo cache and challenge tomb, comprehensive multiplayer coverage, expert tactics for each multiplayer mode, and 100% coverage, all of the challenge tombs, achievements, trophies, and all of the secrets and unlockables for 100% completion. So, looks to be a pretty comprehensive guide. Here's an up-close look at the amulet. The only thing that I wish was that the amulet is way too new-looking. I kind of wish that it was a bit distressed or beat up. Something that looked like it had went through one of Lara's adventures. Um, but, hey, I guess maybe that's something you can do on your own. You can wear it, go uh, cliff diving, smash it on some rocks, make it look old. I don't know. Do whatever you want with it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I I have a display case, and I plan on just putting it in there and uh that's what i plan on doing but the um the rope that's attached to it is i don't know it's not that thick it's not that heavy it's it's nice it's like it's it's a nice braided rope but it's pretty cool if you if you're a fan of lara croft and tomb raider you're gonna love it here is a a shot of the back of the cover you've got that iconic shot of the ship and the plane in the water and uh well let's get into the guide itself i just love this artwork on on the very first page of lara i think it's like the best shot in the entire guide 
And here are the contents of the book itself. And as I watch this video, I'll just look at the guide and uh, just explain to you everything that's in here. So first, first off, you've got an introduction, which is basically just a few paragraphs about uh, the Tomb Raider series and just basically giving you the uh, setting the stage for this new game. And here we have a survival guide, which... Uh, basically explains how to control Lara, exploring the island, what to look for, combat basics, and hunting, all of her different movements. Uh, one thing I will say is that the paper itself that they use to print this on is kind of cheap. The uh, All the pictures that are in here are kind of washed out they look like a copy of a copy of a copy. All the color is kind of sucked out of it. Um, I mean, it does its job. I'm not going to complain too much, but a lot of these newer guides are just so well made. The, the prints are just spot on. And I think this is a Brady Games guide, so I'm, I am kind of shocked about that. But anyways... Uh, using your map, survival gear, relics, documents, treasure maps, challenge tombs, combat, looting defeated enemies, stuns and finishing moves. They really, really focused on combat this time around. Uh, we'll see if it's any good when I, when I play the game, but it looks, I don't know, looks... Looks pretty deep. She's got a lot going on here. Dodge and roll, ranged combat, take cover, hunting. All of the areas on the island are inhabited by animals. You can, uh, defeating them gives you XP plus skills. You can also gain salvage. And here are the survival skills. As you play, th you're going to reach a point in the game where you can start earning XP and leveling up. And these are basically just the different levels of skills. Survival, Hunter, and Brawler being the highest level. And as you fill up your XP bar, you can, I guess, unlock or purchase skills. Here's all the survival gear, all of Lara's gear in the game. Axes, where to, where to obtain them, where to find them. Bows, all her different bows, where they can be obtained, and all the upgrades for the bows, all the different arrows. Rope arrows, fire arrows, napalm arrows, explosive arrows, penetrating arrows. Some other things like, I guess they look like different parts for the bows. Uh, here's the section on handguns. And all the different upgrades. I guess you can find parts along the way and upgrade your weapons section on shotguns all the different parts for the shotguns rifles um, sniper snipers sniper rifles and uh, here's a section on all the characters and all the enemies uh, starting with the section on the survivors and Lara. Feel free to pause this at any point so you can read any of the text. But here are all the survivors. Sam, Roth, Alex, Jonah, Reyes, Whitman. 
this cast this <laughs> this cast of characters is very racially diverse it's like uh we are the world of of characters here Grim, Mathis, basically just gives a, a short bio on each character, gives you their age and their full name, occupation. Here are all the enemies, the Solari, I think I'm saying it right, the Solari, Solari archers, sappers, soldiers, guardsmen, shotgunners, enforcers, Elite soldiers, Oni, Oni archers, Oni stalkers. Those those look like the heavy hitters in the game. Wildlife, and here is the start, or the start of the section for the the walkthrough itself. A survivor is born. So the walkthrough itself looks very comprehensive. You got maps of each section on the island start finish all the locations for ammo arrows salvage uh, tombs and under the maps themselves it tells you how many camps there are how many documents relics challenges gps caches treasure maps uh, how many challenges are on each map So that's good to know. Uh, a lot of information here. Some of these guides are really cheap with the information, and it's basically just a book of uh, pictures for the game. But this seems, this seems very comprehensive. Seems pretty legit. Tells you where everything is on each map and each section of the island. So I'm just going to skip past this section. I don't want to spoil the game for anybody. That's why I'm just kind of breezing over everything and why I've sped up the, the video a little bit so you can just kind of get a glimpse of what's included in the guide without scene of any of the information anyways here's the section on collectibles all the locations for the relics documents lots of things to collect in this game which is pretty traditional for a tomb raider game but it seems a bit much gps caches i don't know seems kind of pointless but we'll see when i finally get to play the game for myself Treasure maps. Tombs. Challenges. Uh, these are all the, the challenges. As you progress th through the game, you uh, complete challenges and earn XP and level up. So this just basically explains each challenge and how to do it. How to complete it. And here is a giant section on multiplayer. Surviving multiplayer. It's probably like 70 pages of multiplayer stuff here. <laughs> Basic uh, Basics, controls, gameplay, crouching, climbing, rolling... Explosives, cover, how to revive a teammate, executions, death and respawning, team camps, ammo boxes, salvage crates, there's power weapons, pretty standard uh, multiplayer, <laughs> feels uh, pretty familiar, it looks very familiar. Look at that, you even have prestige. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't, I don't understand why some developers feel the need to be so much like other games. I won't mention any names, but they feel like in order to succeed, they have to uh, join the crowd. But anyways, uh, here are all the characters that you can use. Survivors and Solari. Ton of characters here. There's, I don't know, looks like, oh, like 25 or 30 different characters. that you can use in multiplayer. Huge section on loadouts, primary weapons. Uh, one setup such as a shotgun and landmine can be can be can be for close combat fighting. Another loadout such as a bow and grenades could be for long-range fighting. In the end, though, it is better to use guns that you feel the most confident with. So, yeah, huge section here on all the loadouts, all the different upgrades for each weapon, loadout skills that, I guess, as you level up, you can purchase new skills. The survivors and Solari share the same skill sets for offensive and survival skills. When selecting a loadout, be sure to select which skills you wish to use. So yeah, you need looks like you need to be a certain level in order to unlock the skills. Here are the a section on the game modes. I think there's only four game modes. Free for all, cry for help, rescue, and team deathmatch. Here's uh, a map for each map. <laughs> Shows you the locations for everything you need to uh, find. All the ammo boxes, uh, traps, salvage chests, areas of interest. Just basically tells you about all the, the little th different little things about each map. And um, prowess and feats. Accomplish the following feats during multiplayer matches to earn extra XP. Select feats from the prowess screen and track how many times you have earned each one. So different challenges that you can accomplish along the way to earn extra experience. And a small section on achievements and trophies. It uh, doesn't look like it tells you how to get the achievements and trophies just looks like it tells you what the achievements and trophies are so it looks like you have to figure that out on your own extras um, some things that you can unlock after game completion concept art characters environments and looks like they have character models too that you can unlock Character models are unlocked as you collect documents, play through the story and kill enemies, view the models by selecting extras from the main menu. Kind of look like, I don't know, little statues, like, mm, similar to like Resident Evil 5. So you could just closely examine each character. And um, last but not least, on the very back of the book is where it gives you your DLC codes, which I'm not going to show you. I haven't figured out whether I'm going to give these codes away or use them for myself. I'm really not interested in the multiplayer at all, to be honest. But um, anyways, that is, that is it. That is uh, Tomb Raider, the limited edition game guide. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. And take care. This is Nizu. We'll talk to you later.